Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that imagines the impossible. I'm your host, Charlotte Dobre. And if you love zombies, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more great questions just like this one. Picture this. While working on a biochemical weapon, a secret US government facility accidentally creates a disease that would create real life zombies. Of course, like with most zombie stories, the disease somehow gets out of the laboratory and begins to spread, affecting first the United States and then the rest of the world. Before long, the entire world is in engulfed in a full-fledged zombie apocalypse. We've all seen what happens with zombie apocalypse scenarios on shows like The Walking Dead, but is that really how things would play out in reality? Today, Life's Biggest Questions asks, what if zombies were real. What the makers of The Walking Dead don't want you to know is that there are actually a lot of technicalities that would make the chances of a zombie apocalypse slim to none. Let's start with the fact that a zombie virus spreads by bites. Do you know how inefficient biting is as a way for diseases to spread? It would spread incredibly slowly because in order for new zombies to be made, zombies have to walk from place to place. Once bitten, the victim dies and then has to come back to life, as it were, as a zombie. It would take months, if not years, for a zombie virus to spread further than a state, let alone spread across an entire country or the world. If zombies were real, they definitely wouldn't be able to remain intact when it comes to the heat, and the disease that makes them zombies wouldn't be able to spread to warmer, humid parts of the globe. Let me explain. Rotting flesh and the hot, baking sun do not mix. Heat speeds up the growth of bacteria, which feasts on anything without a healthy immune system. Last time I checked, zombies are dead, so they don't have immune systems. We know that dead bodies get bloated because of gases within their stomachs, created by bacteria. In warm, humid areas, zombies would get bloated much sooner, and then, wait for it, they would start to explode. I know, right? Exploding zombies! Sounds like the perfect band name. But you definitely wouldn't want any of that nasty exploding zombie juice on you. One of the safest places to be if zombies were real is the desert. Dry heat and wind also mummifies dead bodies. The only way a zombie apocalypse could ever happen is if it took place during the cooler months, in colder parts of the globe. But even then, the chances of a zombie doomsday scenario are so unlikely. Zombies couldn't survive in really cold parts of the globe either, because, well, they would essentially freeze. We as humans avoid the cold. We wear jackets we stay inside. But zombies are dumb. They don't know that walking around in the frigid winter will essentially make them rotting flesh popsicles. Flesh popsicles don't walk around biting people. They stay put. Have you ever noticed that whenever you see a movie or TV show about a zombie apocalypse, it always takes place after the military has been completely wiped out by it? Little to no explanation is offered for why the zombie virus was able to spread so quickly and efficiently without intervention. In reality, this wouldn't happen. In response to a zombie apocalypse, the military would undoubtedly intervene and likely stop it from getting out of control. There is no way a zombie situation situation could not be contained by a really powerful military intervention. If the army can kill millions of armed soldiers, there is no way a bunch of dopey zombies could stand a chance. Zombies don't know how to hide. They can't run very well, they can't use guns, and they have no idea when they're in danger. They just mindlessly lurk around looking for living things to bite. And furthermore, the United States has an armed populace. Almost half of American households have at least one gun, and 14 million people have hunting licenses. I'm not the biggest fan of the Second Amendment, but it would definitely come in handy in the event of a zombie apocalypse. And lastly, there are really hardcore government organizations that exist that take the spread of diseases very seriously. Take the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the World Health Organization. Whenever there's a disease outbreak of concern, flights are canceled, you can't travel across borders. A good example, when the SARS outbreak happened, only 43 people died in the US. There is no way a slow spreading disease like zombieism would claim so many victims simply because there's no way it could spread very far without intervention. So fear not, dear subscribers of Life's Biggest Questions, if zombies were real, they would wouldn't be real for very long. For now, I'm Charlotte Dobre and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our playlist, Biggest What Ifs, clickable on the screen right now. As always, make sure notifications are turned on by clicking the bell and we will see you in the next video.